Hi, I'm Cater Miller. I'm the Outreach Curator at the National Museum of the Marine Corps, and I'm going to talk a little bit about our amphibious assault vehicle, or AAV. The AAV has been in the Marine Corps inventory since 1972. It is one of the longest serving vehicles that the Marine Corps has uh, operated. Uh, it's from a family of vehicles known as the uh, amphibious tractor, and the Marines have used those since 1942 when they uh, first used them in the invasion of Guadalcanal uh, in August of uh, that year. Our AAV has a uh, kind of an interesting story. Uh, ours came to the Marine Corps in 1972. Uh, it operated in uh, Desert Storm as an engineer vehicle. Uh, they were using this vehicle to try to clear the minefields uh, that Saddam had put up in the southern border of Kuwait uh, so that the main Marine Corps task force could go through and uh, defeat the Iraqi army. Uh, while it was performing in that capacity, uh, an Iraqi uh, soldier shot it with a propelled grenade and caused pretty significant damage uh, to the vehicle. It was the only uh, AAV that was damaged in Desert Storm. So after Desert Storm, the vehicle came to the museum uh, where it stayed for about six months, but the Marine Corps needed the vehicle back. It went through a series of upgrades where they put new armor on it and they put a new turret on it and it served for about another decade before it was finally retired. One of the things that we're gonna try with this vehicle is uh, we're gonna have a new overlook space that looks down over the final phase galleries. And we're gonna try a virtually augmented scene where you can see the different roles that the AAV has served in over the years, whether it be driving across the desert in Operation Iraqi Freedom, or it's providing humanitarian aid in Kosovo. We're purposely not theming this vehicle out very much because we don't want to pick one time and place for this thing. We want it to be a representation of the last 50 years of Marine Corps history. We're going to install this vehicle in the coming months in its final place. and. From there, you'll be able to see it from our overlook. Keep checking our website and our social media for updates on the museum.